Hi, welcome to this part of my guide and review featuring the Mythic Game Master Emulator, 2nd edition. If you haven't seen the other parts of my guide and review, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to talk about event meaning. You know the context in which the random event is taking place, and you know what its focus will be. An interpretation may already be forming, but it needs more. It needs a spark of life. It needs meaning. Mythic uses meaning tables to generate a pair of words that you use as inspiration to help interpret a random event. Generating the event meaning involves rolling 1d100 twice on an event meaning table to get two words. You pair these words together and use their combined meaning to suggest interpretations for your event. Event meaning tables come in three varieties actions, descriptions, and elements. The actions and descriptions meaning tables each have a set of two d100 tables, while the numerous elements meaning tables each have a single specialized d100 table. You can find the actions and descriptions meaning tables, as well as the three most general elements meaning tables, in the pages on this section. For more specialized elements meaning tables, you need to visit the scenes chapter. Now, before rolling, you choose the meaning table that seems most appropriate for the current event. You really can't go wrong with any of them. They all provide a starting point for interpretation. But choosing a table that more closely matches the context of the event gives you a better chance of getting results that are easier to interpret. Let me give you a few examples of these tables. Under the meaning tables actions, we have action one table with results such as activate, guide or transform. You have action 2 with results such as burden, legal, value. Under the descriptor 1 table we have results such as beautifully, happily, rudely. Under the descriptor 2 we have abnormal, juvenile, watery. Under meaning tables elements category we have locations such as called, odd, portal. We have characters such as beautiful, creepy, old. We have objects such as liquid, loud. And these are just a few examples. There are 100 results for each subcategory. Now let's talk about doubling down. It's possible to get the same result twice when rolling on the elements meaning tables. In this case, consider that word double down and interpret it with greater intensity than you would have otherwise. And with multiple meaning tables to choose from, how do you know you're selecting the right one for your random event? It comes down to a matter of taste. Every table gives useful results, but each of them gives slightly different results. The action meaning tables give word pairs associated with active narrative elements. These tables are best used to find out what someone or something is doing or having done to them. The description meaning tables give descriptive word pairs that are useful for deciding what something or someone looks like. The element meaning tables are themed, giving more targeted results. The most general element meaning tables are location, character, and object. The element meaning tables in the scenes chapter are even more specialized, with options such as character personality, scavenging results, and dungeon traps. Now when it comes to rolling for meaning, both the actions and the descriptions meaning tables are made up of two tables, each with 100 results. To determine the event meaning, roll 1d100 on the first table and again on the second table. This will give you a word from each table to pair together. The elements meaning tables are each a single d100 table. You roll 1d100 twice on your chosen table to get a word pair. Whichever table you got them from, this pair of words will help inspire your interpretation of the random event. And this concludes this part of the guide and review. In the next part we are going to talk about interpreting the event. I think that these tables are amazing. They are there to cover any situation. Within a particular subcontext, these words have you covered. There are so many results and so many combinations as well. Thank you for watching this part of the guide and review, and thank you for your likes and your comments. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. 
And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel, the information on how to do that will be in the description below. Once again, thank you and see you later.